Hi, I'm Carla from carlashower.com with another video to help you make pretty painted rocks. Today I'm going to show you where you can find three types of smooth stones to use for rock painting. Sure, some people live where there are unlimited flat rocks outdoors, but most of us need to find another source. So where can you get the right type of rocks to paint? That's kind of a trick question, since the right type of rock depends on what you like to paint. Typically, most rocks for painting are relatively flat, smooth, and round or oval. But I've also seen some incredible art that uses rough and irregular rock incorporated right into the design. The most common type of rock for painting is river rock. River rocks can be small like these, or larger like Mexican beach pebbles, which are around three inches in diameter. The moving water they're found in wears down the rock into that nice smooth surface we're looking for. Specialty rocks like these are usually sliced from larger rocks and tumbled or polished by humans to make them nice and flat. These are fantastic surfaces to paint on and give your design a high-end look that's definitely out of the ordinary. There's also a DIY option for making your own rocks that will give you complete control over the size and shape of your stuff. Let's take a look at where you can get each of these types. My very favorite place to get rocks is the Landscape Supply Store. You can find some pretty interesting colored and textured rocks just like these that you might not even want to base coat so that you can let the natural rock shine through. One of the benefits of stores like these is that they usually charge by weight, so you're only paying for rocks you like. Of course, finding rocks outdoors has the bonus of being free. If you have a public river or beach nearby, or you're out on a hike or neighborhood walk, you can find some fun stones to paint there too. Just make sure it's legal to collect them or your free rocks may cost you a hefty fine. You can even spackle and sand some of these bumpier rocks to make them smoother. You can also find rocks in larger bags in the garden section of your local home improvement stores. They might not be as textured and pretty as the landscape store rocks, but they can be great for base coating since you're gonna be covering them with a pretty color anyway. They're also fairly convenient because you can pick them up when you're there for something else. Now don't discount the rocks that aren't perfect flat ovals because they can also be used for painting. This one would make a great slice of pizza, a shark fin, or even a heart. The last place to find rocks is online or in your local craft stores. These stones are usually sold specifically for crafts, so they're on the smaller side, but they are good places for finding specific colors or types of rocks that you might want to use. Beware of the rocks with the wax coating because your paint won't stick. You'd have to spend time removing the coating before you can paint your rock. Rock slices are a great way to give your designs an upscale look. These sparkly white stones are called Santorini stones, and they're a type of marble from Greece. If you're looking for fancy, these are the stones to paint on. They're tumbled to remove sharp edges and give a perfect smooth surface for paint. You'll usually see them painted leaving a white border around the outside, or without a base coat entirely, so the sparkle can be seen around the design. Large pieces like these can be up to six inches wide, and you can also easily find them in smaller sizes. One of the most unique features of Santorini stones is that in addition to the more natural looking pieces, they can be cut into shapes like this long rectangle, or even perfect tiny circles and hexagons. The other specialty stones I love using are river rock slices. These have the pretty river rock speckling, but are cut into slices approximately 3 eighths of an inch thick, which gives them a flat, level surface. Painting on a level surface is usually easier, and I especially like them for dotting. The flat tips of my favorite dotting tool set are a great match with the flat slice to create a perfect round circle of paint. Since I don't have the option to find or slice these specialty rocks on my own, I have purchased them for specific projects from independent rock sellers on Etsy. I've linked some options in the description for you so you can find them easily. These specialty stones are super fun to try, plus they ship directly to my doorstep. The last way to get rocks for painting is to make your own. Now you may be thinking, what? Make a rock? Why would I do that? But there are some great reasons to make your own rocks. 
First, it's an ideal way to get exactly the shape and size stone that you want. There are molds that make perfectly round rocks, which is ideal if you paint mandalas. There are even heart-shaped rock molds. Many rock artists use this method so that they know just what they're going to be working with, and they can replicate their designs if they'd like. You can even take a rock you love and make a mold of it yourself so that you can paint it over and over again. Second, it's reasonably inexpensive. You just need a silicone mold like this one and some concrete mix. You pour the mix up to the rim of the mold, let it dry overnight, and pop the rock out when it's ready. With all these ways to find paintable rocks, you're sure to find a favorite source or two. Which type of rock is your favorite to paint on? Let me know in the comments and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll know as soon as I post a new video. Thanks for joining me!